Hello, my name is Dave Madden. I'm Director of Engineering here at JB Industries. Today I'd like to introduce our new DV40S, which is a wireless app-based micron gauge. It's just one of many app-based products that JB will be launching this year. It operates with Bluetooth 4.0 and is compatible with Droid and iPhone platforms. The DV40S comes in a very durable carrying case, and in that case, is a quick start guide for the DV40S. A more detailed manual is integrated with the app itself. It also comes with a wall charger, a USB to micro USB cable, a rechargeable lithium polymer battery. To install the battery in the unit, you simply take the back cover off, align the three tabs with the pins of the unit, press it in, put the cover on, and simply screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now you're ready to use your DV40S. JB has designed the DV40S to be water resistant. The display, each mating part of the product is gasketed. If we take a look at the bottom of the unit, you'll also see the ports on the bottom are protected with rubber plugs. Underneath this rubber plug is the micro USB port, which is used to recharge the lithium polymer battery. The power button, which is the blue button on the bottom of the unit, is also sealed. To turn the unit on, you simply press once. If you want to power the unit down, you press once more. Now under this other plug is a two and a half millimeter jack. That jack controls a remote ball valve. This feature will be discussed in a later video. Unlike many products on the market today, JB's wireless micron gauge can work independently of a phone. There may be a case where you just don't have your phone with you, or uh, it's a quick job and you don't want to use it. So we've decided to include a display, even though it's a wireless product. The gauge will display a number in microns. Now you can change the units of measure on the app, but with this product alone, it'll just display in microns. It also shows you the lithium polymer battery charge. Right now it's indicating two bars out of a possible four. And then you'll see in the upper right hand corner of the gauge is the Bluetooth signal indicator. Now you can see with the two bars it's not connected to any phone. As I connect to the gauge, you'll see it flash. And then once I'm connected, you'll see four bars on each side of the Bluetooth indicator. So if you are having an issue with your uh, application, you want to make sure that you look at the gauge to see if you have a Bluetooth signal to your phone. Let's now connect to the DV40S using the app that was downloaded from either Google Play or the App Store. You simply select the app to open it. Once the app is open, you go to the upper left hand corner JB menu button, select it, then select scan. The app will scan all available DV40S's. So if you have more than one micron gauge powered on and within range, it will be displayed here. In this case, we have one, so I will select the vacuum gauge. And within a second or two, your gauge will be connected to your app for viewing. Many of the features of the DV40S can be controlled directly from the main screen without having to go to a sub-menu. Let's take a look at a few of those now. First, you'll notice our main reading is centered in the screen at 500 microns. If you need to change the units of measure, you simply check micron, and the different available units of measures will be displayed. To change the Pascal, for instance, we would scroll to it, select Done, and your main reading now is changed to Pascal. You'll notice your target alarm and leak alarm have also changed to the correlating unit of measure. To change back to microns, we would select Pascal, scroll to microns, select Done. And you're back to your original settings. So units of measures can be changed very easily without having to go to another menu. Now let's discuss alarming. Your target alarm and leak alarm 
come from the factory at 500 microns and 2500 microns respectively. To change these you need to go into the alarming menu to change them. But once your target and leak alarm settings are set, you can disarm and arm them without having to go to another submenu. So in this case our target alarm is at 500. It's not yet armed so if I reach 500 microns where I'm at now the alarm will not sound because I have not turned the alarm on. It's only set to a value. When I select the target alarm box, the alarm will sound, the phone will vibrate, and the light will flash. To turn the alarm off, I unselect the target alarm box and it turns the alarm off. The leak alarm works exactly the same way. So if I'm at 500 and I want to do a rise test, I would check the leak alarm and if my vacuum reaches 2500 or higher the app will alarm me that perhaps I have a leak or additional moisture in the system and I need to evacuate longer. The DV40S include some sophisticated alarming capabilities. Now the app when downloaded will have a de facto target alarm of 500 and leak alarm of 2500. These are typical values that are used in the HVAC industry. To change them you'll need to go into the alarming menu mode. To do so go to the upper left hand corner of the app, select the JB icon, select alarm and now you can change those values. To change the target vacuum simply select that field, change the value and hit done. If you want to turn vibrate on or off you can do so here and also to change your tones for both target and leak alarms you select the drop down and choose the tone that you'd like to hear. That's helpful to keep these tones different so you associate one tone with a target vacuum and another with a leak test. To save these settings you simply go to the bottom select save and now these values have been entered. Now the target alarm you can see has been changed from 500 microns to 750 microns. You might ask yourself, well, we're at 520 microns, why is the target alarm not sounding? The answer is because we have not yet armed it. To arm the alarms, you simply check the box next to the target alarm. So even though we have a setting for 750 microns, we have not yet armed it. So I'll arm it by selecting the checkbox, and since we are under that 750 micron target, the alarm will sound. Now my phone is vibrating, the light is flashing, and I'm getting the ringtone that I have associated with the target alarm. To disarm or turn the alarm off, you simply uncheck the target alarm box and the alarm will cease. Another feature of the DV40S app is called High Resolution. The DV40S app is segmented so it doesn't show every micron along the way. Um, some people are confused when they see the number changing so rapidly. For instance, 620, 619, 618, 619. Uh, they feel the gauge is erratic. So what we've done is segmented the readings down so they'll read every 10, 20, perhaps 50 or 100 microns depending on what range you're in. Um, however, if you do want to see every micron change, you can turn your high resolution on. To do this, you go to the upper left hand corner, JB menu, select it. You can see high resolution is off. If I turn that on, our gauge will reconfigure itself. And before it was showing 620 microns, the next reading it would have shown was 610. But now since we've turned our high res on, it shows 617. And when I open our valve here, it'll start counting down. 
and show every number that it reads. To turn high res back off, you simply go back to the JB menu, go to high res, select off. Again, it will reconfigure itself and show just rounded numbers. The DV40S app has two standard themes which you can utilize under different lighting conditions. The standard theme which you see here is red, white, and blue with a bright background. The other available theme is a darker theme that you can access by selecting the upper left hand corner JB logo. You can see theme has a light and dark option. Light is what we're viewing now, the red, white, and blue. Dark theme can be selected and you can see the colors changed. Now whatever theme you were in last when you close the app will be saved. So if you like the dark theme better for your lighting conditions simply change the theme to dark and it will come up the next time uh, as dark so you don't have to always go to the menu and change your theme. Let's take a look at some other menu options available with the DV40S app. If we go to the upper left hand corner, select JB and open up the menu, you'll see there's an option to actuate a ball valve open and close. One of the ports in the DV40S controls a ball valve, which you can control locally through the app or with a remote gateway connectivity package, you can actually open and close the ball valve remotely. This would be used to do a rise test when you're not at the site. You simply select close. The ball valve will close, return you to your main screen. To open it, you go back, select ball valve open. Another menu option is about. To help JB support this product, we may ask you to go into about and it will populate software versions, software dates, pertinent information that will help JB support you in the field. To go back, you simply hit the back button and it returns you to the home screen. Returning to the menu option, you'll see a manual. The DV40S comes with a quick start guide. However, a more detailed manual is integrated within the app. Simply check the manual, and the more detailed manual, which covers both hardware and software, will populate. When finished, hit Done, and it will return you to the main menu. To follow JB on social networks, such as Twitter, Facebook, we've added that in the menu option as well. There's also an advanced option. Again, this is to help JB support you in the field. It's password protected. If there is an issue we think we can debug remotely, we would ask you to go into this field. We would provide a password to help support you. Those are just some of the other menu options that are available with the DV40S app. I hope you found this video on the JB Industries DV40S wireless micron gauge helpful. For more information on this product and other new and exciting products from JB Industries, please visit our website at jbind.com or our YouTube channel at JB Just Better.